Lydia, thank you. Hi, everybody. Oh, good morning as well. Flags up. Starters ready. They're about to turn into the tape. They'll jump eight on the way round here. Two miles and a furlong the trip, and the seven of them are moving towards the starter. They're off. They race away. The opener this morning is the JCB Triumph Trial Hurdle. On the right, the nose banded Jupiter Dujit is very, very keen as he runs down to the first of these eight flights of hurdles. He clears it about four or five lengths ahead. His six rivals are only separated by two or three lengths, with maybe the best turned out winner, Active Duty in the green, showing very narrowly in second position. Close up is Dixon Cove, maroon and yellow colours. They're together in second and third places. This Jupiter Duchit, though, still very keen. He's at least 10 lengths ahead of the others. Scriptwriter in red is running in fourth place. And then the white cap of Comfort Zone. Mombasa, the grey towards the left, is next. And Naiva, she is the back marker. This is number two, Jupiter Duchit. Now 12, 15 lengths ahead, about to take the left-handed turn away to the far side. Uh, going keenly in front, he's a long way ahead. Running in second place is Dixon Cove, Harry Cobbs in the maroon and yellow diamond jacket. About a neck ahead of Luca Morgan in green colours on active duty. There'd be almost two lengths behind those to John Joe Neal Jr. on comfort zone against the running rail and in red colours, Paddy Brennan on script rider is alongside. Two or three lengths behind those. White jacket, Adam Wedge. Naiva towards the inside of the grey. Mombasa, David Maxwell. At number three, Jupiter Duchit uh, begins maybe to settle a little bit better in front now. And the others are much closer to him. About six or seven lengths behind only in uh, second position and further back as they run down towards number four. Active Duty and Dixon Cove head the main group of runners and then Comfort Zone script writer and wider of those now is Mombasa as they jump number four Naiva was the back marker and they run away towards the far side of the course then quickly on now to number five with the nose banded Jupiter Dujit and Jamie Moore clear leaders still uh, over that to in second position maybe just active duty around the outside of the white faced Dixon Cove Script writer red with a yellow cap is next as they race up towards the top of the hill where they have three more flights of hurdles uh, to jump. Then comfort zone races a share of fourth position at the moment. Mombasa is next as they come to this flight of hurdles. Naiva is still at the back of the field. Now it's only a three length lead for Jupiter Dushit. Jumping well in front, though, gets over that and have the very long run now back towards home. Two more flights of hurdles to jump. Neva and the white colours at the rear of the field is the one who is struggling to keep up with the others. In front, though, it's still Jupiter Dujit will turn left-handed. And begin a downhill run on to home, still pursued by active duty in green and a yellow cap of Dixon Cove. Mombasa, the grey, getting closer. The red and brown colours around the outside of scriptwriter. Comfort zone right in behind those. Naiva continues to keep up with the others as they have the run then down the side of the course. Now, at this stage, there's only about six or seven lengths first to last here. It continues to be the pink and blue of Jupiter Dujit. Moves down towards the second last then. Got over it okay. Mombasa and scriptwriter on the extreme left are wide on the course. Uh, still there is active duty. And then Dixon Cove with a white cap of comfort zone. This sextet are very well bunched as they make their way into the home straight then. And the red jacket of scriptwriter going widest of all, but coming through now to try and take it up. As Jupiter Dujit weakens, active duty. Duty is still there, making Edway's comfort zone. On the right is Dixon Cove. This quartet go clear from Jupiter to Sheep. They've won the jump, running towards it now. Script Rider in front. Comfort zone with the white cap being produced with the challenges. A half length behind in second place. Dixon Cove is behind those and active duty. A furlong to go. It's Script Rider versus Comfort Zone. This pair will fight it out as they race towards the line. White cap of Comfort Zone and John Joe Neal Jr., the red jacket of Script Rider and Paddy Brennan. Comfort Zone is just better on wins. Script Rider in second place, Dixon Cove in third, and active duty was behind those in fourth. John Joe O'Neill with me. Uh, well done. D take me through those those closing stages from your point of view. Uh, yeah, I just I wanted to hold on to him a bit more um, than the last day. I, I think I was in front too soon, and um, you know I just wanted him to do it the right way this time. Settle, jump, and, and just try and come with one run. Um, yeah, I, I, w I wanted to try and have one go at the last, and I, I was thinking the gap would hopefully open up going to the last. Um, 
and it was kind of uh, the horses I was tracking. You know, Jamie was coming back, turning in, I had to go to the right side of him and got ended up behind Paddy, but I was happy with that because I was following the right one. And, uh, you know, if he was good enough, he'd have a chance after the last. So, no, I, I was happy. Is he that type of horse, you feel, that, that you you want to produce him at the right time? You, you, you don't want to be in front too soon anyway? Um, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm still learning about the horse. JJ7 does most of the work with him and he, he's won him before. So it's a, it's a big thank to him, really, you know, because um, he told me a lot about the horse. And, you know, I, I learned a lot off him the last day. Um, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't ride him right the last day, even though he just got away with winning. So I wanted to try and do the, the job properly. And, and Joseph was, was keen to, to do that. So, um, you know, thankfully it worked out. And he's, he's had a couple of battles, hasn't he? And, he, and you know, he, he doesn't shirk them, which is a positive. Yeah, you know, I, I'd say he's a good, strong stare over two miles. Um, the hill didn't bother him over here, and um, you know, I just wanted to try and conserve as much energy as possible. But um, you know, it's good writers. He's a he's a fair flat horse, and he's a, he's a good juvenile over here. So I think he's passed the test quite well. How would you rate your horse's jumping today? Happy? Yeah, I, it, it might have been better at Chepstow, but you know, I had him right down the inside. Couldn't see an awful lot, but. I didn't want to give him too much light and just try and keep him settled. So um, I, I wasn't too bothered about it when he was in deep. You know, he he was thinking about it, and um, you know, it should hopefully bring him forward again a bit more experience. And how did the ground ride out there, Jonjo? Quite dead. Yeah, good soft, soft, quite dead. But um, you know, we've had a hard frost, so um, probably what's expected. Thanks for your time. What well up? Cheers, Tom. Cheers. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.